So you slept off. Right? Where are you coming from by this time? You're questioning me. Where am I coming from? Huh? Yet you went to sleep. So you didn't see me and you went to sleep. Hmm? The good wife. Brad, it is only fair of you to let me know your whereabouts. Oh, really? I have been sitting here this is past 6 a.m. And who are you throwing the pity party for? You should have at least called me or sent an SMS. Is it? You think it is in your place to question me in my own house, Susan? Huh? Not in the mood for this drama. Your husband is hungry. Make something for him to eat. And please, make it spicy and hot. Don't make me cold food. Because you won't like it. Did you dream of Cinderella? Yes. Good. So, if someone does not get up and follow mommy to the bathroom, in 10 minutes, she'll be late to school. Hmm? So, let's go. Whoa! I came to get you. Daddy came back, but he came back very late last night. Did he get my birthday present? <sighs> Daddy finished from work very late, but he promised to get you something today. Hmm? Mommy, did Daddy forget my birthday? Of course not. He did not forget your birthday. Daddy cannot forget your birthday, but he's definitely going to get something for you today. Okay? Mommy! Sweetheart, Mommy is not lying to you. Daddy is going to get your birthday present today. Okay? Good. I don't know. Maybe you should find out yourself.
Ahoj, Dani. Yes, I am. You can't catch me anything. I'm sorry, darling. I'm really, really sorry. You know, I was really, really busy at work. You know, that is a very hardworking man, right? I was busy at work, but hey, I promise tomorrow I'll get you something very, very nice. Something big. Huh? So it's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so tell me, how old are you now? You're seven, right? No, I'm six. Yeah, that's true, you're... You're six. <laughs> Mimi! You're six. You have another. Huh? Ah. You're trying to turn my daughter against me, you're happy. Huh? Walking to you, don't walk out of me! I must kill you. Stand there! Have you lost it? I'm talking, you're trying to walk out on me? Stupid woman! Well, I'm still thinking what I'm doing with you in this house in the first place. Honestly, can you imagine what rubbish? Huh? You're trying to talk my daughter against me? Daddy hates me. Shh. No. Daddy does not hate you. I told you he forgot. Hmm? Mommy, you are crying. Daddy always shouts at you. You have to always cover up for him. No. No. He doesn't. Hmm? Fred, please, can I talk to you for five minutes, just five minutes, I promise it will not take more than that. All right, five minutes. I am four minutes. I, I three minutes. I need money. What for? Fred, you see, now that Miriam is grown up, I have enough time for myself. So I need little sum of money so I can start up a little business. Really? So you want me <laughs> to chunk out a reasonable sum of money and give to you? 
so that you can go out there and start a business. And then use that as a license to go out on a daily basis to frolic with your numerous partners. Heavens forbid it. Fred, I have never cheated on you. And I would never ever cheat on you. I have loved and respected you since you married me as your wife. It's just this little sum that I ask. And I have said no. What have I done wrong? All you do, day in, day out, is insult me that I run around and move around the house doing nothing. Yet I ask you for this little and you said no. I beg you. You made, you made me quit my job. Ever since I had Miriam, you isolated me from my friends. You accused me of cheating ever since what happened with Adams last year. You cause constantly and swear at me. Yet, I have not refused. I have not stopped being that good wife you married 10 years ago. Now I just ask for this. This is all I ask. Please. Susan, my decision on this matter is final. And my answer still remains no. There is nothing you do right now that can change that decision. Alright? So you can kneel down there and cry me a river for all I can. I do not have a broken coin to give to you. Kidding me. That guy is a keeper. He's tall, he's cute, he's intelligent, he even has a good job. And you're here contemplating whether to go or not. Susie, you are going on that date. I mean, that guy is every girl's dream, and you're busy tossing him around like seriously, girl? <laughs> okay, girls, I've heard. So, what am I going to wear? Hmm. Leave, Leave that, that to us. us. Go 
girl, you've been gone for three days. Your phones were off and you didn't even bother calling us. And we've been calling you. I'm sorry, I forgot my charger. Fred and I don't use the same phone, so I couldn't charge. That's why I didn't call. So, what happened to using friends phone to call us or buying a new charger? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm guilty, I should have called. Hmm? Well, girls, Fred spoiled me silly this weekend. In fact, I almost forgot about you girls. Hmm. I see. Anyway, my advice. Just take it slowly and make sure his intentions are right before he start falling. Yeah. So, um, are these our goodies? Of course. Mm -hmm. Trust. Mm. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> You're just big. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you like oh, it? Oh my god, Fred is awesome. Like, seriously. I love it. <laughs> 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 Cause my niggas smoke the cushion, get grass day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know you'll get me So don't be acting a fool, love what I do Now I'm coming for you, god damn So you like the place? Yes Are you sure? Oh, thank you please Go ahead I don't even know what to take. Oh, well, um, keep looking, you, you never know. <laughs> uh huh. I'll have this chicken salad. All right. Because the past few months with you have been magical. Look at me, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm like a little boy every time I'm with you. I, my heart races, it beats faster each time. I have to spend time with you because even as I speak with you right now, my heart palpitates. Because I'm so in love with you, baby. I know you're not perfect. But you're just right for me. And I love you. Just the way you are. Please, Susan. Will you marry me? And make me the happiest man alive. <laughs> I will marry you. Thank you. I love you. I love you more than words can describe. You are the center of my world, Susan. And I promise you, right here and now, and I will always Always make you happy. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm just so in love with this woman. I hate the sound. I know, right? Okay. Um, what do we toast to, darling? Everything. All right. To um. myself. This is not the life Fred promised me. Where did I go wrong?
goodness! Look at what you've done! How do I start packing this? Mother, I I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know you. Do I know you? Susan O'KK. Dana Lutomi. Oh my. Where have you been? I should be asking you that. You, you left after you told me you were getting married. So, are you married now? I'm with a daughter. Wow. Wow, that's, that's cool. I mean, you look amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's, been like, it's been like forever, right? Just look, look at you. You look so good. You still look good. <laughs> I never would have thought I would run into you in such a place. Me too. So, um, where's the car? Let me help you with your stuff. Uh, I didn't drive. I live around the corner. So, I usually take strolls. It's part of my evening routine. <laughs> Okay, alright, cool. So, um, hope you don't mind if I dropped you off. Yes, sure. Come on in! I can't believe it. Pleasure, ooh, ever been shy. By a woman that you love Have you ever cried For the peace of mind And it feels like Love just drove by And I'm Sitting by the corner I still haven't answered my question. So where are you coming from? I went to get some groceries. You went to shop for groceries? Right. Who's that man that dropped you off? He's an old friend. I ran into him at the supermarket. Really? And since when did you start hanging out with old friends? Male ones for that matter. I just ran into him and he offered to give me a ride. You are a lying prostitute, Susan. First, it was Adams. And now this one? Susan, how many more do we have to deal with? Fred. Fred, I have sworn with everything precious to me. I had nothing to do with Adams. Daniel is just an old classmate. I ran into him and he offered to give me a ride and I obliged. You shut up, you lying prostitute. All right, I'm going to make it really easy. Since you want to stop driving, right? So that you have the liberty to walk on the road, wriggle your way, shake up your buttocks, so that men would see you, would offer to give you a ride, and you oblige them. As a married woman, I'll make it really easy for you. I am confiscating your car. What? And henceforth, you're not allowed to leave the confines of this house. And that is final. What about Miriam's school? I'll take care of that. I'll pick her up on my way to work, drop her off at school, and register for the school bus to bring her back. And as for the errands around this house, I'll get someone to do that for you. And that is fine now. You are on lockdown. You can't do this. You can't. <sighs> what, what is this? What is all this? What is all this? Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. By the way, who will be taking you to school every day? 
Daddy. Who will be bringing you back? Scoopers. Scoopers, very good. Looking at me like a stupid mother. Take this and watch back. If you like, misplaced. Scoop. What? What is it? Huh? Why are you staring at us like, like that? What is it? Oh, you, you want to join us, right? Huh? Sunshine. you, baby. Fred, please. I don't feel well. I am not in the mood for... Oh, you don't have to be in the mood, darling. You're my wife. So I can have you whenever I want. I am your wife, not a prostitute. Besides, I do not feel well. Oh, stop it. You don't have to move. Come on, darling. Come on. You know, all you have to do is just... Lie there. As always, I'll do nothing. While I do the work. As always. Fred. Fred, please. Please. I beg you in the name of God. Uh, don't do this. Uh, come on, stop it. God won't even be happy with me if I do not perform my mildly duties on my wife. Mm -hmm. Fred, please. Please, come here. Stop. Stop. Stop what? Huh? You should stop! Stop what? Oh, you'd rather have it with your boyfriends outside, right? Huh? You'd rather have it with them. Stop! 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 excuses for him. I can't leave my husband. We took an oath for better for worse. Oh, he's gonna change. Adults don't change, my dear. I didn't know he was going to get this far. I didn't want to leave Mariam. I know the effects broken marriages have on children and I didn't want that for her. If you continue like this, then Fred will kill you. And the bitter part is that life continues because he's going to be with another woman who either likes Miriam or makes her life hell. Only you can make that choice. I'm so confused. There's nothing to be confused about. Have you taken a good look at yourself lately in the mirror? You're a very pretty woman whom every man will want to be with. Fred is my cousin, okay? But he doesn't deserve you. 
So don't let any man put you down. You're intelligent, you're pretty. Daddy, where have you taken mommy to? Bad woman, and she will never abandon me. Ah. Oh. Start there. So that is what your mother has been teaching you, eh? When daddy is talking, you are talking back at daddy. Eh? So I'm talking, you're talking. I'm paying your school fees, you're learning how to speak English. Eh? You go back to your room. You don't preach. Just like your mother. looking for Susan. I don't know if she's at yours. Yes, she is. Ah, great. Um, can you please tell her to come back home? The daughter misses her. I mean, it's not the same without her here and the daughter is constantly asking after the mother. Oh, so you need her? I almost killed her. Oh, Fred, I am ashamed of you. A total disgrace. Priscilla. Whatever gave you the right to speak to me in that manner? Huh? You kidnapped my wife, kept her in your house, and you turn around to insult me. Listen, let me tell you something. I need you to remember that that is my wife you're keeping in your custody. All right? The earlier you send her packing and bring her back here, the better for the both of us, because I just might be pushed to press, press charges. You do well, Fred. You know what? You, you're supposed to be locked up. I'm even calling the cops right away. Uh, 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 look, uh, Priscilla. Hello, listen to me. Calm down. What's your problem? Problem is you take life too seriously. It hasn't come to that yet, right? Calm down. Your cousin, for crying out loud. Look, all I'm saying mm, is that Mimi, the little girl, misses the mother and she would really appreciate it if Mommy comes back home to her. That's what I'm saying. Time will tell you Susan is coming back. And if Miriam is too much for you to handle, just drop her here. Of course, you know how it is with kids and their mothers, that affinity, that connection. You know, that's all I'm having. That was him. Yeah. Ray. Said you, but I was equally angry myself. All I'm asking is that you let my wife come back to me. Mimi misses the mom, you know, and that house is empty without Susan. What would I do without my wife? I'm sorry. 
And to think of it, Priscilla, why are you being hard on me? I'm supposed to be your cousin, remember? I am your cousin doesn't mean I should stand for what is not right. Anyway, I've done my bit. Suzanne has a mind to make up. I'll let her know you're at the door. Thank you. He wants you back, but I said no. Susan, it's your life. You have to think about it. I know. I know you care so much about me, but Fred and Miriam are my family. I need to go back to them. I can't stop you. But remember, my house is open. You can come in any time. Okay? Please do be very careful. Thank you is not enough. It's You're not always so welcome, well. darling. Always. Thank you. You're welcome. Since she wants me and my mommy, she made me so she's giving me her body. Keep on calling, tell them they say they want to ball in. Can't stop them, cause they're beautiful. They all want what you want, and it's simple. I'm chilling on my keyboard, and I hear knock, knock, knock. What me do? She wants me to give her everything I work for. Oh, I know she wants me. She wants my money and comfort. She said she's gonna give me problems. She said nobody fit to solve them. She said she's gonna stand and fight forever until she's gonna be left with me alone. <laughs> My baby, this one no be problems. Cause musically I'ma solve them. Cause I'ma sit on my keyboard and press and I'm press and I'm press. She, she wants me to give her everything I work for. Right, I'm 
And for the umpteenth time, I've told you before, I am unmarried, my, my house is out of bounds. Um, you know what? Listen, listen to me. I'm done with this topic, all right? You, tomorrow morning, you get an alert. Yes, bye. Are you afraid of your first wife? Yes, I am. Do I know you? Ah, yeah. Rara. Oh, mommy, you don't know me. Uh, my name is Bola. So, read this pregnancy I'm carrying now. Fred Looney. It's Fred Pele. You understand? At the she scan. It's a boy. Eh? So, now you know that uh, you don't have a boy. Me, I have a boy. Equation balance. So, uh, this motto is uh, where we put my son when I born him. So, get. Uh, so, the boogie will be in the back and I'll be driving. So, hope you're not driving this car very rough. Oh. Hope you're not driving it very rough oh, because me, if I scratch, I don't want any scratch on the car. So, you don't be driving it in small, 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 small for me because when I come and I born, is the motor I'll be going to drive in. So, get. Uh, so, um, Bami keep Fred greeting. Molori Burkini. You are not pick my call. You are not here for me. <laughs> so now we are going to be very good. Show, show me. You are my mates. I'm your mates. Mates. Show like mates. We are going to be mates. We are not going to have problems. The conversation we are having right now, I like it because now, what you more? You are clear. You are clear of the situation. So get me. Okay. So now, eh? Oh, eh, oh, 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 break, eh? Small, 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 small. Because the car is, I will take it. Sure get. All right, eh? Bye, Mickey Fred. Eh? Thank you very much for the conversation we have. Take you know, while Kada, so I can go. Eh? All right. Yeah, Mate breaks dead. Yeah. Don't don't scratch my motor. Show me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I spoke to Bola today. What did you say? I talked to your mistress. She told me all I needed to know. Um, look, Susan, it's been a very busy day for me. All right, I'm really, really tired, as you can see. So I just need to go upstairs, have a cold bath, and please rest. Freddy, I'm talking to you. You impregnated another woman, and you're not even ashamed of yourself. 
What's this up? What's your talk? Can you hear me? No. You deserve no respect from me. I have respected you every single day. What have I got in return? Nothing! I've got to talk to you anyway! Talk to me like that. I am your husband! The head of this house! You don't talk to me like that. Never. with an animal like you. You better thank your stars for Susan. If not, you would have been locked behind bars. Men like you ought to rot in jail. I saw you know. We have alerted the police. If you're found one inch close to the house, you will be arrested. And who are you, Priscilla, to dictate to me? Huh? I'm talking to you, Priscilla. Who are you? What is the matter with you? I feel empty. I miss Mariam. She meant the world to me. I feel, I feel I've failed her as a mother. No, you have not failed her. You're being strong for her. It was a good thing you left before it got too late. Fred had no right abusing you emotionally, physically, and mentally the way he did. So by leaving, my dear, you did, you did the right thing. Don't go blaming yourself for leaving Miriam. Huh? When you're strong enough, we are going to fight for full custody of her. It's okay. If daddy comes in there, he'll have to pull you by the hair. I'm running late for work. Yes, who's it?
Should I close the door? Go suit yourself. What? What are, what are you doing here? Oh, baby, why are you? Your wife is gone. I thought you might just need somebody that will come and take care of you. So I'm here to take care of you because you're my boo. Hmm. And to make sure that my son is giving birth in his father's house. Eh? Wow, I like your house so. I will get you to this house. Eh? <laughs> Don't worry. Um, your room is upstairs, Abby. Don't worry. I'll be by safe. Boomy! My boyfriend. guy in this house. Anything I say, you must all do it. Show bummy. If you don't eat this food, you are not going to school. Are you hearing me? Leave me. And I said I don't want to eat. Leave me alone. I want to go to school. Alone by so why are you speaking English for? If you don't eat this food, you will not go to school. What is going on? Simple as your oh, thou. Very good. Your daughter. She refused to eat the food I made for her for breakfast before she goes to school. And you know how it is, it is I don't want her to be hungry. Because all those uh, teachers that used to poke nose, they used to put their nose into people's family. They will say I'm starving her. Bola, is that Eba? Mm. Why would you serve my daughter Eba in the morning? Uh -uh. Eba is not food. I made it for her yesterday. She did not eat it before she goes to sleep. So I just, uh, I just put it in the microwave, so for her to eat it is... Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bola, are you serving my daughter leftovers from yesterday? Now, what's still ever in the morning? Bola, what is wrong with you? Say people that eat ever, they don't have uh, sense me. You know, really, we eat ever yesterday. Day before yesterday, Papa, we eat it with very cold soup. And people in Orile, we don't die. We, we uh, want me to. Bola, this is not Orile. This is my house, and that's my daughter. Okay. Please. All right? Eh. Uh, Please, step aside. Spoiler. Darling. Look at that. It's okay, I'll buy you snacks, okay? On our way out. Alright? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Come, let's go to school. Spoiler! But it's right. As a guardian of the house of the Mimi, I have tried. I have tried to put your family in order for you. You'll be doing like this anyhow, every time. In my own time. When we were born, our mother will force us to eat food. One mouth, they will put something in your mouth. They will close your nose. They will hold your mouth like this. Go, 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 go. You will drink this. Well, be a to throw her food in my mother's house. Now we are giving your daughter uh, uh, Eba. Oh, 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 and when you go, you don't want to eat cold ever. Oh, me. Ah, voila! Voila! So, what were you saying? A friend of mine was telling me about a vacancy at his workplace for the post of uh, personnel manager. Well, 
part of the requirements is a five year working experience but I still think you should apply for it. I only work for just three years. I don't think I stand a chance. I'll just be wasting my time. You need the job. You need it to regain your low self-esteem and also the finance to move on. I know, Priscilla, I know I need the job, but... Hey, hey. no buts. Listen, we apply for the job and we write the test. End of discussion. What do you want? Ah. You didn't hear me call you. What do you want? Alright, I'm just coming from the kitchen and there is there's no food. I spoke to my daughter, she said she had she hasn't had something to eat. So she came back from school. Why? Why didn't you cook? That's all. That's why you turned off my film. <coughs> Fred, I'm tired. Oren, I can't cook today. I'm very tired. Bola, what do you mean by you're tired? Or you can't cook today? What then are you here for? No, tell me, of what use are you to me? Because you, 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 don't, you don't wash. Bola, you don't clean. And you hardly cook. So what are you here for then? Tell me, of what use are you to me, Bola? Except that you sit down there every day, staring at the TV set at the end of the week, you ask me for money. Of what use are you to me? Fred, with me. Look at my condition, I can't be good. You throw me the rubbish! You pregnant on my foot! Are you carrying Jesus Christ to that to me? What, you trying to tell me that pregnant women don't cook? Huh? Now tell me, is it that you're plain stupid or just lazy? <laughs> Don't insult me, oh! Do I look like your house girl? If you're looking for your house girl, I'll go to a relay and bring one cup for you. Abby? In short, I don't have time to be arguing with you here. Shake it out! Don't you wanna talk? You stand and listen to me, do you hear me? Ask you walk out of your bitch on you mad? Show to ya with it.
personal manager also helps in the workshop. What are you saying? You're going to be late for your interview. I know, I'm just trying to see if I can. Okay. I know you're nervous. See that? I believe in you. I believe so much in you. You did amazingly well in the test. So this one should just be a knockoff. Listen, just stay focused, composed, and stay positive. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me just rush. Let me rush. <laughs> Thank you, so let me just rush. Okay. Rush. Thank you. So see you. Okay. Joseph. Sir. Yeah. I need to get the assistant with this name to my office right away. Okay, sir. I'll attend to her first. Okay, sir. Right now. Okay. Come in. Susan. each time I see you. Thank you. Please, sit down. Sorry. Sit down. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I, I was surprised when your secretary came to call me out from the lot. Considering there were lots of people there that came before me. No, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Nice office. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't call you for a while now. It's just that um, I lost my phone few days after I met at the supermarket. And I didn't want to barge into your house. <laughs> you know, I didn't want my head to be broken. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. But I didn't think that. I just thought you didn't want to bother me because I'm a married woman. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's talk about why I'm here. Dear, <laughs> why you are here? <laughs> um, which is? Oh, Daniel, come on. The interview. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize. The interview, yes. Um, you, you got a job. Just like that? Oh yeah, just like that. I'm the human resource manager and it's my job to hire eligible applicants. And I just did. <sighs> are, are you excited? <laughs> I'm sorry, my heart is beating so fast. <sighs> thank you, thank you. <sighs> thank you so much. Um, Susan, I'm, I'm sorry to put a pause to your excitement, but uh, can I get your number again? Wow, sure. Alright, cool. I have two lines. I'll just give you the two. Alright. Okay, maybe just say this when I give you the next one. Alright. Thanks, um. I'll call you. went wrong? Guess with that look on your face, nah. I'd rather you tell me. And for all it's worth, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I didn't get the job. 
Oh. I'm so sorry, my darling. Delay is no denial. God will give you a better job at his own time, okay? I got you! <laughs> Words alone can express my gratitude. In fact, I thought all hope was lost when you kept them alive. My God, we just keep blessing you for me. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I'm so glad I could help. You are. Mm -hmm. I have another sweet gist for you. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You know I love gist. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, tell uh, me, okay, please, uh, please tell me, tell me. I want to know. Tell me now. You scared me. I am so happy you have decided to leave again. Life is too short, mourning over a man who's probably having fun somewhere. You need to find true love again. Hmm? You deserve it. So go have yourself some fun, girl. Thank you. So, are you sleeping over? Abba, I am not a prostitute. I didn't say you won, but we are adults, so anything can happen. Daniel and I are just friends, no strings attached. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, see you soon. See you. Mm. So, how do I look? You look fab fab. Nice, you look very nice. You look fabulous. I say, let me tell her with my mouth. Pay her. Ma, she buy you. She buy you. She ran away. 
you trying to tell me? Voila. That my six-year-old daughter ran out of this house, possibly in the streets, at this time of the night, may be missing. And you're sitting all comfy on my couch? She ran away. Well, my daughter ran away. I came back from work, close to two hours now, and you never thought of mentioning it to me. Oh, come here. Boom, you must stress her, right? Don't stress yourself. You know, uh, you know, uh, really, you know, this, uh, some, some children, three years old, four years old, you can send a message, you put a uh, bang. Three on their head, you put a uh, balloon, you put all these other small, small things inside, you send them to the mass market uh, streets to go and sell, then uh, they will go. They bring the change, they put the money here, put it here, they know the road to their house. Maybe it's a big girl. Oh, come on. Mass stress, all right. What kind of a human being are you? Oh, come here. I wanted you to eat your dinner and rest. For a Before I tell you, so that you know, you know like the stress from what. Dead. You know, sometimes I wonder, even to myself, how I got into this mess with you. I learned to think that you're part of the reason I treated my wife the way I did. And you turn out like this. Are you speaking about? You're mean. Eh. Mama, you. Don't insult me. It's not me that say your wife to, to, to close her leg when you want to go inside. It's not me that, uh, that, 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 that sits in my own when you were coming, passing all the coral, coming to baby. Baby, Bola, please, oh, let me put only the head. I will not stay inside the long hole. It's not me that tell her not to satisfy you. It is not me that said that your wife should not uh, uh, have another child for you. Am I, am, I, am I the one that tell her to go have another boyfriend outside? Why she not carry a picking girl? Where she go? Why she not carry the picking if she loves the picking? Mama stress me, Joe. Oh, fine, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. She's six years old. She's slim. She's chocolate, but you want to say she's dark in complexion, but she's chocolate. No, not at all, officer. I wasn't home when she when she left, so I can't tell you what she was wearing. Okay, sir. So. Thank you so much. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Please. Please. Thank you. Who is it? Oh. <laughs> See who showed up. Hmm. So you got tired of frolicking in town with your numerous lovers? I decided to show up. Fred, please, don't flatter yourself. I am here to see my daughter. Your daughter? Susan, your daughter. Now you have a daughter, right? Listen, let me tell you, the day you walked out on us and left this house, that's the day you ceased to be her mother and my wife. So if you don't mind, I have things to attend to. 
Give this place. For the last time, if you do not let me into this house, I am going to force myself into the house. Oh, oh. Barely two weeks, you already moved in your mistress. Anyway, I am here for something more important. Where is my daughter? All of a sudden, you're interested in your daughter after you abandoned us. You just woke up from your slumber. Why am I even here listening to this mentally deranged man? Who is that? Susan. Susan, did you just hit me? And I will slap you again, you filthy son of a bitch. Susan, did you just hit me? <laughs> Susan, I would love to know who's playing this tune you're dancing to. So now I hit you and you hit me back. Right? Get out of this place. You don't belong here anymore. Fred, listen to me. I give you two days. Two days! And I'll be back with mobile policemen. And if I do not see my daughter, I will have you arrested. And then you will pay for all the pain you cost me. Why are you looking at me? Am I the one that slapped you? Look at that. Edith. Yes, doctor. The little girl in what 14, what's her record? Okay, she was rushed in yesterday, knocked down by a hit and run driver. She suffered severe head injury and she's short of blood, doctor. What about her parents or guardians? No one has come for her yet. Okay. Um, while we await that, we have to carry out blood transfusion. Okay? So go take her blood sample, take to the lab and get back to me. All right, doctor. Yes, yes. Please, we need to run a test on this blood sample. There's this little girl that needs an urgent blood transfusion. Please do that right away and take it to the doctor. Okay, I'll do that right away. All right. All right. All right. Cinema. What can I do for you? Priscilla called me. She said my daughter is here. Oh. Are you the mother of that small girl that was rushed in here? Yes, I am. But madam, how is it now that you're just coming for your daughter? No, please, where is my daughter? Sorry, I'll go upstairs watch 14. Now, okay, everything will be fine. Okay, <laughs> my baby. Ah, Fred. Fred. God will punish you. God will punish you. You will not know peace. You will rot in hell. Uh, madam, take it easy. It's not time to apportion blames. Okay? Your daughter is in urgent need of blood transfusion. Ah, Dr. Blood. What are we waiting for, Doctor? Please take my blood. Doctor, take my blood. I have blood. Please, 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 doctor, take my blood, please. Yes, Doctor. Take her for a test. <laughs> You need to calm down. Hmm? She's going to be fine. Okay? Okay. okay. Don't worry. And I'm sure the doctor will do his best. Okay. God will keep watching by her. Amen. And then the doctor is going to do his best. Amen. Just calm down. Come. Okay, come, come with me. I need to take your blood. Come. Come. Okay. I'm going to get the blood. Let's go. Let's go. Small boy. 
Small boy, kill me. Cross the day I met you, brother. That father. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Every part of me, brother. I hate you. Same to you. Ah! You want to give me all the forsake me, oh? You cannot forsake me, Frederick, because my son must be born in the father house. The way you forsake your wife out of this house. You will not talk with me and you will not talk with her. Don't call me Frederick. I will give you his in this house. Like I said, we need someone with whose blood group is O positive to donate to her. Doctor, don't you have blood banks? Let's try for my blood bank, doctor. What about her father? Her father and I are having our differences. Um. I think the life of this child is more important than whatever difference you're having with the father. And I will advise you get him or any other family member to donate to her because it's preferable for the blood to be fresh and also from a family member. But in the absence of that, you can try blood bank. But I advise you get her father to donate to her. <laughs> you don't have anything to fidget about, okay? Baby, mommy needs you to be alive for her. She needs you to fight to stay alive for her. I remember you promised mommy. You promised mommy that when you grow up and get a good job, you would take care of her. Please, don't leave me now. You're the only reason that I live. Talk to me, please. Talk to me. Sorry. I'm sorry for the way I've treated you in the past. I'm sorry for the things that I have done to you. I'm not proud of those things. Please. Find it in your heart to forgive me. I'm willing to make amends. I beg you. I'm sorry for every pain that I have caused you. You will be more sorry if anything happens to my daughter. can hear me, it's, it's daddy. Darling, I need you to fight. Because I know you're a strong little girl. 
who wants to stay alive. I need you to fight. I know you're strong. I know you're strong just like your mother. I want, what, what, what do strong people do, darling? They fight. I'm sorry. I know I haven't been a great dad. I know I haven't been a fantastic father. But I promise you, darling, that if you fight and stay awake for me, I will be a great dad when you wake up. Please, Mimi. Don't leave me. Don't leave me because you leave me. If you leave me, it will kill me. I beg you, please. <laughs> Fight for me. I'm still alive. Please come. If buy us, I just want to talk to you. Please. Joe. Ah, come now. Okay. I just want to tell you that eh, the way you are treating me is not fair. I'm a pregnant woman. Look at my condition. Eh? Very soon I will give back to your son and you and I can, can get married and live happily ever after. Eh? I don't like this way you are doing these things. I've been sleeping uh, on the couch last night and waiting. He did not come home. He did not even say he should come La Rocco to be four or five. Look at the time. Eight o'clock. That's irresponsible. Because when you and I get married, I don't want any irresponsible character like this in the house. Shamo. So I just want to tell you now in peace so that uh, we know how to handle this situation because this your irresponsibleness is just a uh, you are walking away so I should talk to myself. It will not be good for you. Uloshi, irresponsible bastard. Imagine the time you are coming to the house. You don't like peace talk. Oh my you will suffer. You shall suffer. But you think you have to suffer. Idiot. When somebody wants peace with you, you will not want peace. I, I, I tried getting through to you. I couldn't, so I went to the house. I mean, the office has been asking about you, so I I came to know what's going on. I met Prince Celia. She told me everything. I said, I'm so sorry, Susan. So, are they going to replace me with someone else? Oh, I prayed for that job. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I I'll take care of the office. What is most important right now is that she gets better. Okay? How's she doing? She's been unconscious the past days. I have been here for the past two days. She hasn't even opened her eyes. God, I pray nothing happens to Miriam. She's all I have. If anything happens to her, it's going to kill me. I failed her as a mother. No, 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 come on, shh. Don't, don't, don't say that. You know what? You are a great mother. Guess what? My man knows that. Okay? Everything is gonna be just fine. Okay? Alright? Alright, mm -hmm. um, I got your food. I bought your favorite, but it's called. Remember when we used to go to that place? Huh? 
you like this so much, right? Susanna, I need to go on a walk now. I'll be back in the evening, okay? What can I get for you to eat? Thank you so much. Um, uh, what is going on here? Who's this man? You mean Daniel? I don't care what his name is. Daniel is, is my friend, very good friend. And he's been very, very supportive. What kind of support are you talking about? Why is he sitting here with my wife? Does he realize that you're my wife? <laughs> Your wife? The last time I checked, I ceased to be your wife. Please, I beg you. Please. Forgive me. Alright, look, I know the things that I said hurt you. They truly really hurt you, but I am really, really sorry. I, I, I didn't mean those words, alright? I just said them out of anger. I am sorry. Please Fred. Forgive me. Fred, just look at me. Take a good look at me, a graduate. I slaved for you for 10 good years. And what did I get in return? Nothing. I'm sorry. Look, I am willing to be a man. It's all right. I am willing to be a good husband. I'm willing to be a great father. All I'm asking is that you please just find it in your heart to come back home. Fred, no amount of apology can erase the pain you caused me and my daughter. Is this the reason you're not coming back home? I'm asking you, is this the reason you're not coming? What are you doing here, mister? I'm asking Fred, you, what are you doing Fred, here? Fred, stop it! No, is stop that the reason it. you're not coming back home? Mr. Fred, Mr. Huh? Mr. Mr. Fred, are Mr. you the reason you get my wife is not coming back home? Oh my home? god, my is awake! She's awake! Oh my god! Stop, stop! I have gone, far away where you can never find me. You never really wanted me anyway, so I'm sure this is a relief. Don't even bother coming for the baby because it was never yours in the beginning. Don't blame me. A girl has to survive. I needed the money. I have smelled poverty and trust me, I wouldn't wish my enemy that you. And don't bother looking for the $30,000 in your drawer. I took it. Or did you expect me to leave empty-handed after all my services to you? Fred, don't be wicked. I have some alcohol in the fridge, because I know after reading this letter, you will need some. <laughs> have a good bye.
Priscilla, I can't thank you enough. What would I have done without you? You gave me the strength to pull through all these, you know. I'm so glad I could help. Um, so when are you moving in? Tomorrow. I'm just waiting for the AC man to come and fix the ACs. Tomorrow? So soon. Just when I was getting used to having a flatmate. I'm going to miss the two of you. We'll miss you too, but not to worry. Miriam will be coming over to spend weekends with you. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so when are you starting work? Next week, Monday. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy too.